JAMA Network. Don Talbot was diagnosed with Alzheimer's at 39. He and his wife, Christy, decided to get proactive about dealing with the disease. You have to have hope and you have to, to encourage each other and part of that was getting involved with the research. It's just so important. Don says sometimes he experiences this agitation. I'll hear somebody walk by in flip-flops and that little snap, snap, snap at their feet. And then all of a sudden I hear all the flip-flops in the room pop, 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 and it's just, it becomes so loud and so overwhelming, I can't do, I can't focus on anything else. Dr. Constantine Lyketsos from Johns Hopkins Bayview Medical Center and co-authors studied 186 people with mild to severe Alzheimer's disease and agitation. At random, half the patients received the citalopram, the other half a placebo pill. All the participants were also offered counseling and taught ways to deal with the agitation. If we just use a psychosocial intervention and wait things out over a few weeks, about a quarter of everybody's agitation is going to get much better. On the agitation scales that we used, people who had the drug did better than those who had placebo. In some cases, much better. This study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The citalopram was slowly increased starting at 10 milligrams and building to 30 milligrams. At about three quarters of the way through the trial, the FDA issued an advisory that in elderly populations, doses above 20 milligrams uh, should be used with caution because of effects on the heart. For some participants, those taking citalopram had changes associated with potentially unstable heart rhythms. There is a clear benefit to the drug at the 30 milligram dose. We also have clear evidence of the real cardiac effects also on the 30 milligram dose. At 48, Don says he and Christy will continue moving forward with a certain hope for the future. I hope to be the very first uh, <laughs> Alzheimer's survivor at an Alzheimer's walk. That's what I hope for. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.